how to create a table of contents in Word 2007 and Word 2010. The way to create a table of contents in Word 2007 and Word 2010 are similar. You will be only using two tabs and two groups on the Microsoft Word ribbon to do this. This is the ribbon area here. This entire area here is called the ribbon. You will be only using the home tab on this ribbon and the styles group. And the second tab and group you'll be using is called the references tab. And under the references tab, you'll be using the table of contents group in order to create a table of contents, whether it be in Word 2007 or Word 2010. Okay, let's begin. First thing first, go to the document in which you want to insert a table of contents. Locate all the headings and subheadings, if you have any, in your document. Uh, if you are writing a book and you want to insert a table of contents in your book, each chapter in your book, example chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3 and so on, would be considered a heading. Uh, let me show you how to do that. I have a sample manuscript for a book open before me and I'm going to insert a table of contents for it. But you can also do the same in any document where you have headings included, headings or subheadings. Okay, here's my sample manuscript book open before me. The first thing we need to do is to first of all have the home tab, to click on the home tab and then locate the headings in your manuscript or document, in this case, this is a, a sample manuscript that I have open before me. And look, and I am locating all the chapters, all the headings, the chapter headings and the subheadings. I'm going to highlight chapter one here, then go to the styles group under the home tab. And I'm going to make this chapter one here, this heading called chapter one, this title called chapter one, I'm going to make it heading one. Next I'm going to scroll on my document and I have located where the subheading, I have a couple of subheadings in these chapters, I've located where the subheading for chapter one is and I'm going to make that a heading two. Scrolling down there's another heading here on my, doc, on my document on chapter one and I'm going to make that a, a heading, a subheading three. Now notice every time I click Every time I select a heading, whether it be heading 1, heading 2, um, automatically heading 3 shows up. And if I select heading 3, automatically heading 4 shows up. If this is not happening to you in your document when you are following this video, uh, go to this, this, dialog box, this dialog box launcher just to the right of the styles group. There's a small drop down arrow under change styles. Left click on it once and a dialog box will open up. Scroll down to the bottom of the dialog box where you see the word options and click on it. Where, <clears throat> when you click on the, on the <clears throat> word options, a dialog box will open up. Title style pane options. Go to the bottom of it and look for the section. Look for the area called show next heading when previous level is used. Uh, I show you would notice that mine is ticked off. Yours may not be ticked off if you are not if you are not having automatic headings showing up. So, just go to the blank the first box here, first blank box here, and left click in it once. By doing so, you have selected you have selected it, and you have automated uh, the process of heading one, heading two, heading three, heading four showing up automatically as you highlight headings in your chapters or in your document. Next, you would click the word OK. OK, let's continue where we, where we left off. Uh, let me go to Chapter 2 now. I'll make Chapter 2 a heading 1 style. In Chapter 2, I have a subheading here. First subheading, first subheading I'll make it a, sub, a style 2 subheading. Next, there are three chapters in this sample manuscript. Next, I go to Chapter 3, make Chapter 3 a heading 1, styling, and the subheadings here, the first sub subheading in Chapter 3, I make it a heading 2, styling, and I have a, 
another subheading here which I'm going to make it heading 3 start then oh I have another chapter here there are four chapters in this manuscript and I'm going to chapter 4 heading 1 subheading here first subheading I'll make it a heading 2 subheading okay that's it the next thing you do now now that you have located all your headings and subheadings in your document and you have highlighted them and selected what style of heading you want for each whether it be heading 1, heading 2, heading 3, 4 or more scroll up or go to the place at the beginning of your document where you want to place the table of contents in this case I want mine to be placed after the title of the book the page after the title of the book that is the second page here left click in the area where you want the table of contents to appear next you would go to the references tab in the ribbon area notice I'm pointing to it here references tab click on it once left click on it once then go to the table of contents group and go up to the table of contents command left click on it once and you will see a number of options table of contents options um, in a drop down box before you choose the first in my case I'm choosing the first automatic table that is table one did you notice what happened it automatically inserted a table of contents for me and if I want to put table of contents here I can just left click right next to the C here and add the word table of add the words table of there you have it it's as simple as that to insert a table of contents in your document or manuscript